My name is Shana Lady. I'm the director of local music at Theater Theater Highland, and I have been singing for as long as I can remember. Um, you know, I, I grew up doing that. Um, when I first went to college, that actually wasn't what I was going to do. I was pre-med for a couple of years, uh, and then went, I think I'd rather sing and then do all these labs. So, you know, I sort of shifted gears, uh, and I studied music and particularly opera. So my background is in opera performance. I have a master's from Wichita State. Um, and once I got out of school, I started working in the field. Um, I worked for the Wichita Grand Opera and in artistic administration and stage management, um, and eventually becoming a director. Um, I've worked in New York City for the Marquino Royals Prelude Performance Program. I've directed for New York City Opera. I am currently the artistic administrator for the Hawaii Performing Arts Festival, in addition to my job here at Highland. So I like to keep my fingers in lots of pies. Um, I think we have a really great program here. Um, it's primarily performance based, and so my students are kind of a mix. I have you know, some that come in that are music majors and they either want to be music teachers or music performers or music therapists. Um, and then I have others who come in and choose a local music scholarship because it's something that they've loved in school. It's a great way to be involved here on campus and meet a bunch of people right away at the beginning of your time at Highland um, and a way to sort of stay engaged with something in addition to your regular academics. So we provide a variety of different courses. You can take lots of gen ed, humanities. I teach everything from music history and appreciation to history of jazz, to introduction to world music, to music theater history. Um, so there's kind of something for everyone in that. On the music specialty end, you can take everything that you need for your first uh, two years of a music degree here. You can take music theory one and two, you can take oral skills, piano lessons, voice lessons. We have two different choirs. Um, one is sort of your traditional choir and the other is our show choir, Lads and Lassies. Um, and we also do a musical every year. So we're very engaged on campus and beyond. So the ma major in music can pursue all kinds of different things. Um, as you can tell from my own background, I've done everything from performing to teaching to artistic administration to um, technical theater. You know, it really opens up a lot of doors. Um, obviously, there are also things like recording engineering um, and, and more technical type fields that can be gone into with this type of degree. Um, we have some wonderful alumni who've gone on to do a variety of things. I have students who have worked for New York City Opera. I have students who've gone on national tours. I have students who are character performers at Disney World. Um, really, the sky is the limit and it can all start you. I grew up in rural South Dakota in a town that is smaller than Highland. Um, and had never seen or heard anything like that in my entire life. Um, and I always sort of assumed that like people who sang just could sing. And it wasn't until I was in college and changing my major that I was like, hold on, wait a minute. People have like voice teachers, like you learn technique and different things. Um, and I love music theater, I love Broadway, but I kind of figured that that was something that I could do on my own. It's in English, it's the language I speak, you know, it's the music I was more familiar with as far as singing goes. Um, and opera seems like a really good challenge. You have to speak multiple languages, you know, at least when you sing. Um, you have this art form that is hundreds of years old and yet somehow still relevant. Um, mostly what I do now is um, stage direct. So I'm the person who looks at what's going on stage and tells everyone, you know, what to do, where to stand. And um, my goal always with any production that I put on is to have every single person in that audience, no matter what their background is, no matter what their life experience, have a moment that they go, oh yeah, I know how that feels. Like there's a universality there that just reaches out across time. But for a vocal music scholarship here at Highland, um, students just have to perform in one of our groups, either HCC chorus or Lads and Lassies each semester. Um, they have to carry a full-time credit load. Um, they have to keep a certain GPA overall. And if they're a music major, they have to have a little higher GPA in their music specific courses. Um, and that's because a music major tends to be additive and you have to have a certain grade in classes in order to move on to the next one. So that just helps me preserve, you know, the integrity and quality of our education and making sure my students get where they want to go. So if you'd like to get in touch with me and ask more questions about our program, I'd love to reach out and speak with you. You can reach me at my email, slahey at highlandcc.edu or on my Google Voice.